What's it really like working in cybersecurity and how does it change your everyday life? Let me tell you about my own experience. Today, I'll be sharing you some of the stories about what this job is like and how it's more than a just a nine to five job for me. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Before we go any further, my name is Alex, your guide behind Alitex. With over 15 years in cybersecurity, I've tackled digital threats in various capacities, from small businesses to large corporations. My passion lies in understanding and communicating the evolving landscape of cyber threats to people like you. If you're seeking an unbiased professional opinion on cybersecurity matters, do not hesitate to reach out. Join me as we explore the critical world of digital security together. The 90s presented a very unique landscape in cybersecurity. We were dealing with viruses traveling through floppy disks or CD-ROMs. The concept of email phishing was just emerging. The tools we rely on today, like advanced firewalls, was just in their early stages. I vividly recall experimenting with viruses in my own network, observing their behavior and seeing exactly how they worked. This gave me a very hands-on approach to understanding their mechanics. I also remember about internet speeds, which were painfully slow, making even simple tasks challenging. My passion extended to hardware as well. I was always tinkering with computers, pushing their own limits by overclocking CPUs and memories. I did recognize early on that cybersecurity was destined to become crucial in the future. So I was very determined to gain the experience needed to be part of this revolution. My journey in IT started because I was curious and I knew I had to learn how everything connected together. Working in different IT roles certainly helped me with that. These IT roles taught me a lot on how computers and network work. Then I, I became a penetration tester. I remember that this was so exciting because I had to think like a hacker to test and improve the security of computers and networks. During my time as a penetration tester, I also learned something very fascinating, how to reverse engineer malware. This meant taking apart harmful software to understand how it worked. I even changed its code to make it do different things on my own computer. This was like a secret lab experiment, but I was both a scientist and the detective. As technology evolved, so did the threats. What started as a simple virus scans grew into complex battles against sophisticated malware and cyber attacks. But the lessons from the late 90s, such as adaptability, curiosity, and obviously resilience, they always stayed with me. Let's talk about one of the toughest challenges I faced during my career, and that was ransomware attacks. Picture this, all your important data suddenly locked away with someone demanding money to release it. In a critical incident I led, the entire database and network folders got encrypted due to a phishing attack. Everything was locked and unusable. My role was to lead the cybersecurity team in fighting back the attack. We strategized, fought hard and restored security. Each attack like this one taught me a valuable lesson. We learned to be more resilient, innovative and ensure that our defenses were stronger to prevent further and future incidents. Dealing with data breaches was incredibly challenging as well. It wasn't just about fixing a technical issue, it was about maintaining trust and integrity. When leading investigation into cybersecurity breaches, the team had to pinpoint weaknesses and implement stronger security measures. But then again, it was just not about reacting to an incident. It was about learning how to prevent them in the future. I often found myself collaborating very closely with different departments to quickly identify and contain breaches. Now, let me share how being in cybersecurity has changed my personal life. I've seen some real horror stories with cyber breaches, so I know what can happen behind the scenes. Because of this, I'm super careful with everything I do online whether it's making payments, browsing, or simply chatting. I always think like a cybersecurity professional. I also double check website to make sure they're safe, and I'm extra careful about sharing personal information. This job has taught me 
that being cautious online isn't just professional, it's a crucial part of my daily life. Looking back on my journey in cybersecurity, it's been a path of never ending learning and adapting. The cybersecurity landscape is constantly shifting, and the ways we protect it must evolve too. I often find myself awake late at night, diving into white papers about new technologies and security architectures. This thirst for knowledge is key. It's what drives us forward in this field. It's not just about staying updated, it's also about staying ahead. This hunger for learning and adapting has shaped me into the cybersecurity professional I am today. For those of you who are stepping into the world of cybersecurity, be ready to embrace its challenges. Your curiosity and your will to keep going are the most important tools. In cybersecurity, every day brings a chance to learn something new and obviously to grow. It's true that breaking into this field can be tough without the right experience, but it's undoubtedly one of the most rewarding and challenging areas you can work in. My suggestion is to stay curious, always seek for more knowledge, and remember, every challenge is an opportunity for you to prove yourself and advance your skills. I've encountered some really tough situations in the past. Whilst these experiences were challenging at times, looking back, I've realized how much I've learned from them. Each difficult moment turned to an incredible opportunity for growth and learning in my career. Thanks for joining me on this journey through my cybersecurity story. For more insight and personal experiences, feel free to check out my other videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences in the comments. As always, keep your data safe and curiosity alive.